Hello there, I'm Steve Kerrison from the Microelectronics Research Group at Bristol University. I'm joined by James, who uh, joined us over the summer uh, in the research group. Welcome James. Thank you Steve. And uh, so for this project you've been working with uh, an external company, haven't you? Yeah, um, I've been an employee of Embercosm, and they do compiler technology, they're currently working on some LLVM stuff. Uh -huh. They did all of the tool chain for this Epiphany board here. Right, okay, so sort of you've been installed here at the university in our group, yep. but supported by, by Embercolum. Yep. Um, so, I've asked you here today to ask, tell us a little bit about the project you were working on over the summer. So first of all, let us know what, uh, what you've been doing with us. Cool. Well, firstly, I've been looking at how compiler options will affect the energy usage of lots of different embedded platforms. You can see here I've got five different embedded platforms all hooked up to some measurement circuitry and I've been running programs on all of them and getting power figures out. Okay, so well, my understanding is you've been looking at sort of the compiler side of things mainly and, and playing yeah, around yeah. with the well, um, We all know that the optimization space of the compiler is kind of difficult to look at, yeah. so I've been investigating which options are good, which ones are bad, and taking both figures for time and for energy. So we can see if they are the same, in which cases they differ and why that's the case really. Okay, and that's that's a fairly unexplored space so far in terms of in terms of energy it is yeah. there's been a lot of stuff on kind of performance enhancement but not much for low energy. Okay, cool. So um, you've been using a board by Adaptiva. Yes, we've got the Epiphany 3 board here, one of the earlier versions. It's got a FPGA docking board which is running the interface to the computer. But this main board here is the E16, the 16 core Adaptiva Epiphany chip. Okay. And at the moment I've got it hooked up into some energy measurement stuff. It's These power leads are supplying power and I measure how much current they draw. Okay, so for those that don't really know what Adaptiva make and what an Epiphany chip is, like, what is it? What, what are we doing with it here? Well, it's, it's basically, they've recently got their new Kickstarter parallel project right. and this is the chip that they're going to be offering. Um, it is a this one is a 16 core DSP coprocessor essentially. Right. So it's got a lot of compute power for very, very low low power. Right. So the Yeah. Cool. cool. Alright, so <laughs> so that you've been running your, your test suite on as well as other chips, the, the Adaptiva kit, and so you've got some, some data after that. What have you yeah. found? Well, I've found that um, pretty much making your programs go faster is the best way to get low power. Makes sense. Yep, um, there's not a lot of kind of variation. You can get some cases where you can get much lower power for only a marginal performance increase, but in general, if you were to follow one rule, make your programs faster, they'll take less energy. So we've, we've got a situation where the kind of obvious rule of make things faster and they'll, they'll finish quicker is, is good, but there are situations where it doesn't quite work like that all the time. Yeah, there's, there's a couple of cases where, I mean, it's very, very small percentage-wise, you can perhaps get a 5, 6, 7% uh, decrease on the power consumption with very little change in performance. And there's also options which perform very bad scheduling things. Right. So you get a much higher power consumption, and it's not very transparent to the user when this is actually going to happen. Okay, so more about the, the epiphany stuff. How have you actually hooked things up together? How, how have you programmed this thing to run your tests on it? Well, I've, been run, I've got a set of benchmarks, and I've been running the same benchmark on all 16 cores, and it triggers the energy measurement stuff, which starts and stops the measurement and then I can analyze that and calculate some average power, some energy consumption, the time the benchmark takes to complete. And what's, so you, you say you have some benchmark, these have been running on all the different devices? They've been running on all the devices. So yeah. you must have some sort of, the Adaptiva board must have some sort of fairly um, sort of commonly used compiler framework or something to get code to run on it then? Yeah, they, they've got the, um, it's, Standard GCC toolset. So okay. you've got the you've got GDB, you've got GCC. They've got an assembler and linker, 
and it just works out the box really. It's easy to set up. There's a application framework that you can use to run stuff on all, all of the cores and get it just working easily. Okay, cool. Um, so for people that want to find out more about your project or um, the Epiphany chip, what can they do? Where can they go? Well, you can. I've got all of the details of this project on the project wiki page, which is. At well, we'll, well, we'll we'll put the we'll put the website up on your screen, <laughs> and uh, also we'll put our uh, research group website address up as well. If you want to find out a bit more about some of the other stuff we do as well, there's also the um, Adaptive Kickstarter. Yes, and the Adaptive web website. Okay, we'll put those up as well. James, thank you for talking to me, and uh, thanks for watching.